everyone, this video is on complementary angles. Complementary angles add up to 90 degrees, forming a right angle. Okay, and basically what you could say is A plus B equals 90 degrees. In this case, this one would be 60 degrees plus 30 degrees equals 90 degrees. So we just do arrows like this. There's that angle 30 degrees and there's this one that is 60 degrees. Similarly, um, this one we have 40 degrees plus 50 degrees equals 90 degrees. All right. So in this case, we don't know what this angle is. So we know for complementary angles and we know because this is a right angle here, this blue square, that we know that A plus B equals 90 degrees. So we know that X, if we call this A and this angle B, that X plus 62 equals 90 degrees. So you use your subtraction property and um, subtract 62 from both sides and you will get um, X equals 28 degrees. All right, so our angle A is 28 degrees. You can check your solution. 28 degrees plus 62 degrees equals 90 degrees. All right. Now you have a more, we have a more complicated one. We have three angles, but it is going to be a right angle here. So we're going to add all these up. In this case, we have A plus B plus C equals 90 degrees. So we have, let's don't put the degrees, let's just write it out. X plus 3 plus X minus 1 plus X plus 1 equals 90 degrees. So now you have to add your like terms. 1, 2, 3. We have 3 X's. These two cancel. And we have uh, just 3 left. So plus 3 equals uh, 90 degrees. You use your subtraction property. And this is all degrees, so you have 3x equals 87. And you divide, use your division property of equality and divide both sides by 3. And let's see, 3 goes into 87, 2, 6, 27, so that would be 29. Therefore, x equals 29. Now what you want to do, <coughs> we'll call this um, a... B and C. So this is A, B, and C. And you're going to plug in your X to find the actual degrees. So we can just do it up here. We'll do it down here. We have X plus 29. Oh, whoops. Our X is what? What's our X? Sorry. We have x plus 3, so we have 29 plus 3 degrees, and that's going to equal 32 degrees. So A equals 32 degrees, and then 29 minus 1 degrees equals 28 degrees. So B equals 28 degrees, and C equals 29 plus 1 degrees, which equals 30 degrees. And to check your solution, you would just add these up. You have a 32 plus 28 plus 30, and that equals uh, 90 degrees. Okay, I made some up here, so we're going to go a little faster. So our A is uh, 4x and our B, so that's degrees, 
is x plus 5 degrees. So we're going to add these up. Um, this is a right angle. So 4x plus x plus 5 equals 90 degrees. Add like terms, you get 5x plus 5 equals 90 degrees. Subtract 5 from both sides. You get 5x equals 85. And so x equals, let's see, I wrote this down, 17. All right. Now we're going to plug in 17 into my a and b. So we have 4 times 17 degrees, and that's going to equal um, 28, 68 degrees. And then we have um, this one. So this is 17, I'm using substitution, plus 5 de uh, degrees. And that equals uh, 22 degrees. So this angle um, A equals 68 and B equals 22 and you can add them up just put plus and that's 90 degrees. Okay the next one is this one same thing you might want to try it on your own by pausing the video and this one's going to be x minus 10 degrees. So add these up. 3x plus x minus 10 equals 90. Add, uh, well, let's add this up. 4x minus 10 equals 90. Use your addition property and add 10 to both sides. So you get 4x equals 100. Divide both sides by 4, so you get x equals 25. So plug this in, you get 3 times 25 equals 75 degrees. So that's this one. And for this one, we have 25 minus 10 degrees equals 15 degrees. So this is 15, and you can look, 15 plus 75 is 90. And the last one is the hardest. So we have 2x plus 7. And here we have 4x plus 11. I'm supposed to put arrows here. All right, so add this up, 2x plus 7 plus 4x plus 11. And that's supposed to equal 90. So we have 6x plus, add those two, 18 equals 90. Subtract using your subtraction property of equality. And you get 6x equals 72. And if you divide both sides by 6 using your division property, get x equals 12. <coughs> Plugging it back in, you get 2 times 12 plus 7. So that's 24 plus 7. And that equals um, 31. And the second one, you have 4 times 12 plus 11 degrees. This should have been degrees. And that gives you 48 plus 11 degrees, which equals 59 degrees. So this whole thing is 59 degrees, and this one is 31. And if you add these two up, you get 90. And finally, a review, uh, complementary angles definitions. Uh, angles may be adjacent. That's what you'll usually see sharing a common vertex. This is your vertex. However, they need not be adjacent. So sometimes you can have complementary angles um, that are separate and the sum must uh, equal 90 degrees. And 
Uh, our next video is going to be on supplementary angles. They add up to 180. So in this uh, complementary type, you have 38 plus 52 equals 90 degrees. And on this one, you'd have 52 plus 128 degrees equals 180 degrees. That's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.